All right, we're gonna go over the anatomy of the ear. The ear is just like the eye and then it's broken into the outer, middle, and inner layers. So when we talk about the outer ear, the outer ear starts with your auricle, which is also known as your pinna, and its job is literally to funnel sound waves and collect sound waves and bring them into the ear. So your auricle, and then it leads to a tube, which we call the external acoustic meatus, or your external auditory canal, um, which is gonna have your ceruminous glands, which are modified sweat glands that produce cerumen, which is earwax. So the more you um, sweat, the more earwax you produce. And then it ends with a translucent type structure, um, transparent little bit, and it basically is a cone shape and that is your um, tympanic membrane or your eardrum. So these are all external ear structures. So the outer ear collects and channels sound waves to the middle and inner ear. So we start out with the auricle. The auricle literally sounds like ear. Um, this is your auricle. It, it looks like a funnel, so it funnels sound waves into the ear. This little cavity right here is the external auditory canal, also known as the external acoustic meatus. And then this is the end of the outer ear. And this is your tympanic membrane, which is known as your eardrum. Now, your tympanic membrane, your eardrum, literally is going to amplify sound waves into the middle ear. So we're gonna do the middle ear now. Your middle ear is made up of auditory ossicles, which are the smallest bones in the body. Now there's three and they always go in a certain order. The one that touches the tympanic membrane that looks like a hammer is called the malleus. The malleus is always first. Now the malleus then is going to um, vibrate the next auditory ossicle known as the incus or the anvil and then it's gonna vibrate a third auditory ossicle which is called the stapes and the stapes um, looks like a stirrup so these are your auditory ossicles these are part of the middle ear one two and this is the third one so these are called the malleus then you have the incus, and then the third one is the stapes. These are all part of the middle ear. Now your middle ear is connected to your pharynx through what we call the pharyngotympanic tube. Now the word pharynx means throat. Pharyngo means pharynx. You put an O to connect it tympanic, which is going to connect the tympanic membrane, tube. So it leads down to the pharynx and it is going to lead up towards the tympanic membrane. So all of these are part of the middle ear. The malleus, incus, and stabes are known as your auditory ossicles. That's all part of the middle ear. So the job of the middle ear is to amplify, amplify sound waves from the middle ear to go to the inner ear. Now you always learn your auditory ossicles in order. Malleus vibrates, then the incus vibrates, then the stapes vibrates. All right, the third portion or the inner ear is going to be broken down into three areas. Let me find the right color for this. All right, your inner ear. Now, where your stapes is attached to your inner ear is gonna be known as the, the vestibule. Okay, your vestibule is gonna lead to the cochlea, which looks like a snail. And then coming off the vestibule are going to be your semicircular ducts, which are right here. 
So you have three portions of your inner ear. Where the stapes attaches, this is called the vestibule. The snell portion is called the cochlea, which is gonna be where we um, have the organ of hearing. And then you have three semicircular canals which come off of the vestibule on the other side. So semicircular canals. Now your cochlea is gonna be responsible for hearing. It's got the organ of hearing called the organ of corti. The vestibule is used for static equilibrium, which is basically you have balance when you tilt your head forward and backwards when you're standing still or side to side. Your semicircular canals is gonna be responsible for dynamic equilibrium, which is gonna be when you're spinning or when you're doing linear movement like moving in a car. So these are all portions of your inner ear. So your vestibule, your cochlea, and your semicircular canals. Now, right next to your inner ear is where you have cranial nerve eight, which branches into two branches. You have a really large branch, which goes straight to the vestibule and a branch that goes to the cochlea. This is cranial nerve eight. Cranial nerve eight is known as the vestibulocochlear nerve because the middle portion of the inner ear is known as the vestibule and the part that looks like a snell is known as the cochlea. So cranial nerve eight is the vestibulocochlear nerve. So your anatomy of the ear. The outer ear is for collecting sound waves, channeling sound waves. Your tympanic membrane, which is your eardrum, is gonna vibrate to amplify the sounds to the middle ear, which is the malleus, incus, and then the stapes, which are your auditory ossicles, the smallest bones in the body. In your middle ear, you have the pharyngotympanic tube, which is connected to the pharynx all the way to the tympanic membrane. Um, this is gonna equalize air pressure between the external auditory canal and the middle ear. But this is also how you can get um, otitis media or ear infections of your middle ear because bacteria can travel up your pharyngotympanic tube to your ears. And then your inner ear is gonna have three portions. Your vestibule, which does dynamic equilibrium, your semicircular canals, which does Oh, I said that backwards. Your vestibule, which does static equilibrium, your semicircular canals, which does dynamic equilibrium, and your cochlea, which does hearing. And then these are going to be um, controlled by the vestibulocochlear nerve, which is cranial nerve 8.